So good day everyone, this is Dialogue with Don Bosco, episode 4, actually the last episode for this uh, uh, series. Now I'm here with uh, uh, Jerry, Father Ricardo, and Father Chikizi Ekugba. Actually, they are going to introduce themselves to us after my introduction. So we are going to be looking at the use of cane from the Don Bosco perspective and also how it pertains to our uh, uh, reality today in Nigeria, in Africa and elsewhere. So, Mr. Jerry, tell us about yourself. Okay, so my name is um, Jerry Fetori Kusari and the host of um, e Podcast. I am Father Ricardo, the solution of Don Bosco from Italy, but most of half of my life, more than half of my life in Nigeria, came in 1882. Wow. <laughs> I'm Father Kuba, I'm Salesian of Don Bosco. Uh, half of my life has not been like Father Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> Father Ricardo. <laughs> we, are, uh, we are here and I'm a member of um, the Salesian community in Iju and I'm glad to be to be part of this program. Good. Father Ricardo, just to add something to Father Ricardo. Father Ricardo was uh, once a provincial. Uh, he, he's our, like our ancestor, mm-hmm. a living ancestor here. So we are. it's, it's a privilege, it's uh, an honor to have him here. And uh, personally, I am happy that he's part of us in this program. So, yes, let's go straight to the business. Cain, the use of Cain. Now I'm using my hand like this so that we uh, maybe if I don't pronounce it well, you should carry one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should have one for this program in case. <laughs> anyway, the use of cane in the Dobosco system, uh, cane is not what we use. Actually, we have the preventive system that does not allow the use of cane corporal punishment. But you can do some other things that can yeah, use to what we can use to put young people in their place, make them to reason uh, together with us. But we don't use the cane. And there is a particular uh, aspect of Don Bosco's life. Maybe that is actually why Don Bosco propagated the use of no cane in his system, the preventive system, where uh, Don Bosco being with the mother and the cage of rabbits. They were rearing rabbits at that point in time. And uh, I don't know what happened. As a young child, Don Bosco, instead of him to lock the cage, actually left it open and all the rabbits went off. Went off. And after playing and coming back, the mom was kind of fuming and fuming and like, okay, let him come today. So when he arrived, the mom now said, John Bosco, go to the back of that door and bring the cane. And the child was like, cane, bring the cane. So he went to go and bring us. What do you want to use it for? <laughs> I was like, bring it first. So he went to go and bring the and went to close to the door to like, okay, what do you want to use this game for? But don't you know what you did? And things like that. Like, so the mom made him to understand what he did. And he was so sorry about it and told the mom, oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't do that again. I will not do that again. So the mom looked at him sternly and they both laughed at each other and went i know definitely there are other instances in oh, the yes. life of don bosco like father ricardo this is very interesting but it's not the only one yeah, yeah sure in another occasion little john johnny was home with his brother joseph the mother went to the market and they were playing outside at a certain point they remember they had a small tool they used to play mm-hmm. on top of the cardboard, cardboard. And uh, John was small, so I took a chair, climbed on it, and then well, while trying to get that small tool to play, there were bottles of wine and oil. One bottle of oil fell down <laughs> and <Wow>. broke. <laughs> hey, we try to, to cover up clean, clean, but the oil, the more you clean, the more dirty. Yes. And so he was smart enough, went to meet her mother, his mother, coming from the market <laughs> and while going took and pre- prepared a very nice cane prepare it and <laughs> went to meet her <laughs> and the mother noticed that she, he has done something wrong yeah. Yeah. John what happens one with your own mischief yeah 
Yes, ma. What happened? And she told the story. Mm-hmm. She said, John. But since you have told the truth, I will not gain you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, oh, oil is very costly. Yes. We'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. So that was the end of the story. <laughs> Ah, uh, great. These are, these are uh, pockets of experiences of John and him evading being used, I mean, being caned after uh, having done something something wrong. Yeah, I want to look at it now today. I mean, what happens to our kids today when they get... Uh, Can I say something? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. When I came 40 years ago, 82, to this, into this country, One the first day was around a witness, an assembly of students before class morning assembly. More students line up according to classes and the principal pointing to one, kneel down. Another one, kneel down. I was surprised, I don't know, just looking. And then the prayer, the announcement, everything, and then at the end, pull out the cane and uh, dispense justice uh, according <laughs> to the ser- seriousness of their faults. Oh, yeah. I was really impressed. I don't say shocked because before they shocked me, they did more than that. But oh, uh, sure. impressed because it was not uh, our own system. They came sure. from a different system. Sure. But my mind went back to Don Bosco's day. Oh, great. Great. So can we say that... Uh, Let me go personal now. During your time as a child, as a child, did you experience the use of cane or did they use it on you? It's not only in the Bosco's days, but the cane was in use even more and more. Even my childhood, it was still common. Some, okay. Some teachers. Oh, okay. Even for instance, my father and his brother, my uncle, mm-hmm. were different in character. Oh. We were living together in the same compound. And I know my uncle was very, very, let's say, wicked. No, no, I don't say wicked, but uh, strict. Yeah, strict, yeah, strict, strict. strict. Yeah. And uh, from time to time we hear, pim, pim, and my cousins. <laughs> ah, okay. But personally, <laughs> never. Never. My, my parents were very sweet and meek, and they never, never touched me with any cane. None of us, all the ah, children. But I think it's What did I, you have to say on that? I had plenty. I had plenty kids. <laughs> oh, no. um, growing up, it was um, um, you have plenty kids from school, from your parents, and uh, those times to make uh, my mom not to beat you too much, you start crying already even before she flogs you. Mm. Because by the time, by the time, you, if you just bring out your hands and she's flogging you. And you're not crying. She Then keeps. You have become hardened. Yeah. So you have to start crying. Anyway, I, I, back then you still you have those kind of um, elements, but it was not that um, those were not things that sometimes you we make joke out of and say, okay, even before you you do it, we are going to flog you. Yeah. But yeah. it it came to a moment, uh, a certain time in our own life that um, the cane ceased. Oh yeah. And the there came in a, a different kind of cane and those were words of wisdom oh, great. that you wake up by, you are being woken up by 4 a.m. sometimes <laughs> and when you are being talked to, you, you just say, please flog me. It's better, you flog me. It's better you flog me than these things you are telling me. Oh, yes. So definitely I experienced it. Yeah. Jerry? Well, um, of course, we both grew up in Africa here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same experience. Uh, My both parents were very good disciplinarians, They disciplined the hell out of myself and my brother. Even my aunties and uncles, the same. In fact, um, there was one occasion with my aunt, I went to the house on holiday. Then there was something that I did, you know, as a small child, I was still small then. My cousin, my elder cousin, now said, I'm going to report to mommy. I said, please don't report, please. She said she was going to report. And immediately my aunt came back. She ran to the kitchen to go and report to my aunt. I ran to the room and then under the bed to go and hide so that they don't find me. Yeah. Because the first time that woman flogged me, 
Now you need the difference between flog and flog. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, growing up, yes, we experienced the use of cane. I mean, it was a normal thing. I also remember some other time again. I was a bit grown this time. I was in like secondary school already, even mm-hmm. like year three. You know, my dad paid for lesson. You know, the day I liked, I would go. The day I didn't like, him because you'd be at work now. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't know whether I went for lesson or not. So that was my calculation. This day, I didn't know he didn't go to work or something. I went home. I was at home. You know, I didn't go to lesson that day. I just felt, okay, hey, man, I'll go ask for rest. So I just went home. My dad went to the lesson to go and check if I was there. Mm-hmm. Lo and behold, I wasn't there. <laughs> he came back. As he came back at that time, I knew that there was a problem. I pretended to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> so You just had to be sick. Uh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> My dad looked at me. He didn't say a word. So, oh, yeah, so I'm not feeling too okay. Mm-hmm. Just entered the room. The time he came back, he called me out with cane. Wow. The flogging, eh? You know what they call cuckoo? The sickness came out. Mm-mm, wait, you know Coco? <laughs> yes, Coco, I just got that. Yeah, this lumps, uh-huh, lumps. Coco, yeah. yeah, I had Coco on my head at the end of the flag. It got flogged. swollen. Yes, it got swollen. It got swollen. Yeah, that's it. It got swollen. My head got swollen because he flogged every part of my body out of annoyance. So why would he pay for lesson fee? Uh, pay lesson fee for me to go to gain more knowledge, get understanding of what I'm doing in school, and then I'll fail to go there. He disciplined me, and that was the last time I failed to go for a lesson classes. It was the last time. So, of course, that's uh, the experience I had. That's the reality. I mean, as you said earlier, it's an African, I would say, majority of... Yeah, majority uh, of Yeah, it's an African uh, it. uh, reality to, to for parents to use the cane on the kid as a measure to correct, mm-hmm. not actually to harm you yeah. or to do evil to you, but as a means of correction to correct you but things are changing things are changing now my question would be our time your time and now what is the difference and what is the situation i don't know uh John Bosco, do you want to say something? <laughs> Can you compare? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Ah, I'm, I'm small in body, but age. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Small body, big engine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Basically, mm-hmm. I, I would, I, I want to take a word from what Father said earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wicked. When I was little, that, that's what I used to call my dad. We are too wicked. Ah, I can't go outside. I can't even express the fears just there. When I was little, I couldn't do anything on my own. Like, mm. ah, to go outside is a crime. I can't even report. Ah, it's just, I have the experience more like. Yeah. But, and today, what up? Like today now, the kids of today. Yeah. Do they experience, do they have that kind no, of uh, no, no. feeling that you used to have? No. I, 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 I'm not at all, father. Yeah. Okay, if from my own side, I, I would see some other kids, the way they are being pampered. And I would just compare, ah, when I did this age, you, ha, I know if you do this to you. Before I even see, I won't do them, I don't collect bits. Yeah. Talk less of Now doing it, far, actually, yeah. Um, there is total, there is a difference between It's a big difference. And now, yeah. yeah. I think um, I, I want to share a little bit similar opinion um, to him. Um, do I want to say that um, discipline is moving um, far from from the family life and society um, somehow? Um, because you get these days um, parents who would want to take care of their children. Some parents, not all of them, want to take care of their children and they cry, 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 cry. It's okay, take the phone. That's what will make him stop crying or she stops crying. Um, or you those days that um, you're, you're a female child and you have to be in the kitchen 
um, to see how your mom is cooking and to learn. They didn't used to go to any catering school, but they learned from the mothers. These days, um, many of the uh, uh, men, some of the the ladies, they don't know how to cook. So somehow I term them as fast food generation. So mm -hmm. they are waiting on on during the week. They just go. People cook for them, and and they get. So you you get less and less of this kind of discipline. Not discipline now with the cane, but discipline with the words and really telling them what the what truth. Is the yeah, truth. yeah. Like my dad for for sure like what mr jerry said he will stay he was in the customs and he, if he stays out for too long and uh, you come back and you don't pass and he'll tell you so what has he been doing in the office exactly for long sitting walking for you to go to school and you are coming back with this with this kind of result so for sure if others are getting things because those times now he stopped caning if others are getting things you wouldn't you, get you won't get and he will tell you, don't think about paying your school your school fees. You, since you don't know anything, mm -hmm. you are no more going to school. He will send you where you are going to learn the trade. Mm. And you know, those times, learning the trade was like um, people who don't know anything. Mm -hmm. So, so you, the next day, you just have to- You want to buckle up um, yeah. things like that. Or you that. don't go to church, you will wash. Yeah. With uh, French suits, these French suits that have shoulder pads. Yeah, yeah. And you put it in water and you use kenu soap. You not use detergent. <laughs> so the next Sunday, you wake them up from church and everything. So the discipline, it's for some parents and some institutions now, it's, it's slipping away. So for the Ricardo, do you want to tell us something about? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the cane is an icon of punishment. Mm -hmm. But it's not the only one. Sure, yeah. sure. Even sure. in Don Bosco's day and in our society years back, Don Bosco in his preventive system mentioned that we don't use repressive system. First of all, because the law of the land forbids it. Imagine, it was already forbidden, but <laughs> for centuries it continued. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, corporal punishment, like uh, kneeling in a very uncomfortable situation, conditions, slapping, uh, these different, different forms of punishment. Well, Don Bosco says, it's not the only one. Mm. It's not that preventive system bans any kind of punishment and then you do whatever, you spoil the child. No, mm -mm. there is a way of training, educating and uh, the child, the youth, which is possible without this corporal punishment. Corporal punishment, yeah. And uh, it says, for instance, and I find it so relevant here in Africa, <laughs> when you remove the greeting from your child. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. It's, it's more than a slap on the face. Because exactly. It's clear sure. there is something wrong and other places. So that is why the preventive system is misunderstood as a system of indiscipline. It's not true. It's not true. Yeah. Properly understood, properly applied. Of course, somebody mentioned Pampard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> if you remove corporal punishment and are replaced with any kind of different yeah. punishment, of course, indiscipline will reign. Exactly. And flood. And I think that is what actually is eating up the society today and uh, not understanding the, the, the preventive system, not understanding very well and just uh, just say, oh, preventive system and don't do anything to the child. Mm. The child is there. Just love, love, love. What's, I mean, the misconception of love actually now and the child is going uh, astray. And a lot of things are happening in the society today in Nigeria, in Lagos. And uh, we are seeing young people going like totally astray. And you ask, what is happening? This child, is this child coming from actually a family? Does this child have a family? Is there a a family hold on this child and we start asking that question today so yes, why do we have this kind of things happening the fact is that um like they say um in africa here yeah, it takes a woman to give birth to a child but it takes a, a community to raise the child however before it gets to the level of the communal upbringing it's first rest on the family, the immediate family of the child to raise that child. Like we were talking about um, a child, uh, um, sorry, the other measures of um, raising the child. Yeah. This means the child as uh, father has said here. The fact is, you do not always have to use the cane. Mm -hmm. 
maybe that could be a last resort. There are other measures. We see situations whereby parents, out of maybe not understanding the whole idea of um, uh, actually the preventive system, and, uh, prevent yeah, the preventive system, not actually understanding it. You you see situations whereby they instead of dealing some other measures to prevent the child from misbehaving, they just allow the child. Exactly. They allow the child totally. And this child has done wrong. And you're like, it's wrong. There are ways. You can ground the child. Mm. You know that this child loves watching TV at so time or a particular program. You can stop the child stop from Stop the that. child from watching that. If all this issue around, of game and yes, all that game. around, you block it or you do not subscribe. These things will make the child behave. Some of these children love games so much. Yeah. Pack the game, keep it. For as long as you want to keep it. If you have said it in your heart that you want to keep it for three weeks, try to discipline yourself to keep it for those three weeks. Yeah. I do that. There are, there are times I do something to, to discipline my own child and I'm like, it's taking long to do better. Because I've told myself, this is the period I have put that I will use in disciplining this child. I make sure I wait till that period before I relax on the child again. By then, the child would have realized his or her error. Now look, I have done wrong mm-hmm. and that is why I'm suffering this. And children these days, interesting thing about children, they will come to you. Daddy, what about my game? <laughs> you know, saying to mine. They will come to you. <laughs> and you are like, you remember what you did to that? They say yes. That's why I took the game. Say yes. I'm sorry. I agree. Yeah, sorry, but the punishment is still on. Yeah. So after the yeah. punishment, you, you get, can get back So it. those are things you use in instilling in the child the necessary discipline that the child needs to have. But when you just look at the child, I'm not picking. You are spoiling the child. So it's not about using the cane necessarily, mm-hmm. but using other measures yeah. in preventing misbehaviors yeah. from children. Yeah, why 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 you are speaking? Um an experience came to mind. Um there was um there's a young man I had an encounter with. He was a young boy, actually. He was nicknamed Honorable. He should be around um, six, seven. Mm-hmm. And um, I used to I used to teach them um, how to alphabetization, holding them by the hands and tracing the letters. Yeah. So um, this this young this young boy um, was pressed and he wanted to urinate one day and he just left the class and he went by the fence and you did it and um, I had always told them you go to your your dormitory and use the, the washroom there so I did say anything so honorable finished he came into the class and I welcomed him and um, when the class ended I just went to his desk and just told him I saw you when you were urinating on the wall and he was quiet and I said, okay, you just do something for me. So I wrote on the book, I will not urinate on the wall again. And he was going to write 10 pages of that. Of that. <laughs> so you see, Honorable is just learning how, how to, to write. write. Then I told him for that he had to bring it to me before Rosary that evening because they, they joined us for Rosary and no football for him yeah because he has to write that yeah so honorable had not finished when i was dressing up for football he rang the bell and i opened you know when you when you open the door i think you're expecting somebody who is big yeah yeah you don't see see? (laughs) (laughs) and i said he said father my hand is paining me i said yes it's okay you should write i am i want you i want your writing to be very beautiful so continue writing he said, but you know you're a father. I said, yes, I know I'm a father. <laughs> you know, today's mass, you say we should love people and we should not treat them badly. Imagine. Yeah. I said, yes, Imagine I know. Children these days. Yeah. Yes. But I want you to, to write. But um, I I saw the determination in him to, to want to write. And during prep, he was also writing. So I think he was when he was writing, he was sweating. He took off his shirt, and after he was, he was after eating in the yeah. night, he kept writing. So I saw the determination in him and the willingness to to learn. And he didn't get up to the uh, reach up to the ten pages. So in the night, I I took a walk with him, 
And yes, after that moment, Honorable never, and not just Honorable, others in class never do that, did that. So there, there is a vacuum uh, in, in that in that place. You you say, okay, no more um, punishment with cane. Yeah. There's no more, there is, is, it becomes a void. What are you using to replace? And I think it's, it's very pertinent that uh, parents and also institutions and also all of us to to learn to use those um the three pillars that, uh, that don bosco has given us the reason religion mm-hmm. and, and loving, loving kindness, kindness yeah. because with that you can embed it with other things and um, you see that it works so say it doesn't work in africa but surely no, surely it does it does it does work it does work not talking of the increased awareness of human rights, mm. the dignity of the person. Don Bosco says that this kind of punishment demean the person, they humanize him, they humiliate him. So the punishment, instead of helping to change, creates a sense of uh, waiting for revenge. Mm. He says it's not unusual, he, he had some example, that when grown up, just the time come to go back to revenge parents or teachers who have treated them that way. That way. So even I think is a step forward, this increased awareness of mm-hmm. human rights. Once again, you can bring to the extreme. The sure. child that is beaten reports the parents to police. Uh, well, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. Uh, once again, the extreme are always wrong. Yeah, that's an, actually an extreme. 